Hello there and welcome to Harman Manyora's channel. My name is Jadal Kabir. I'm glad that you've joined us for today's political conversation. A conversation that is always simple, truthful, pro puts it as hard hitting and it's always, always unbiased. I'm joined by the one and only Harman Manyora, sir. How are you doing today? Good. You are, you are shut. I don't know whether to call it a shut or this what. This is political season. Yeah. yeah. Which part is that? This is Kenya's hope party. <laughs> Branded, that can give hope to the Kenya, to branded Kenyan branded manure. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Today's political conversation is what's happening within Azimio La Umoja. Some headlines are putting it as widened cracks. Ally, uh, allies of Kalonzo Musioka have said that he needs to become president, deputy president. Uh, you talked about that with Simon. I don't know if you watched that clip. If you didn't, please go ahead and watch it. It's about deputy choice within Azimio La Umoja. Simon called it Raila's preferred deputy. But this time round, they have come out straight and said there was a deal before. There was a deal between Raila Odinga and President Uhuru Kenyatta together with Kalonzo Musioka that he should become deputy president. Mutula Kalonzo says that they had already agreed on this. Do you think Kalonzo can be shortchanged? Is that what is happening? First of all, let me clear the air. When, when we release that clip with Simon, you know he gives the title. I don't do titles. Uh. <laughs> and then my social media team, uh. then they reduce it to between Kalonzo and Madaka. That's not what I was saying. Uh. But there's nothing wrong. The, 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 the Raila has a wider choice than that. Uh -oh. So people are hit, you know, bashing me. You know, I, it is done by my social media team. Okay. Okay. Now, um, but the question you must then ask is, mm. is it possible mm. that he could have been promised and then they are still scutting around the question? And that's what, the issue? that's what I'm asking. I don't think so. Because why was indeed put down? Mm -hmm. Why would Huru and Raila promise Kalonzo and then they have an agreement which they are signing? Why was it not inside? Some say, I, I think it's Mutula Kilonzo, or is it mm. uh, Dan Manzo who said mm. they went to State House yes. and, and they agreed together with the president yes. and Raila Odinga. Yes. Apart from the deal that they made as Azimio the Laumoja, yes. One Kenya Alliance, this, this other deal. Uh, Can Kalonzo be shortchanged if this is true? I doubt. I don't think anybody promised him. I think. He got the feeling that it was obvious mm. yeah, that he would get. He even said it's obvious. He yeah, himself so, said it. So I think he, and if you look at the things he has tried to do, mm. you can conclude that here is a person trying to push for it, mm. trying to make it difficult for the other side mm. to give somebody else. That's not what you do if it is something you have discussed about and agreed upon. Okay. So I don't think there's any such agreement. I doubt. Do you think they should be coming up with a claim? When you look at Makweni MP, Daniel Manzo, he's coming out and said, this is what he said, I agreed to support Raila on the basis that Kalonzo would be the running mate. Yes. Some people within ODM have been trying to frustrate that. There's no other reason we would agree to join Azimio La Umoja. Uh, I told Dan Manzo I was on KTN with him. And I told him, Dan Manzo, what are you mambo here? Uh. You know, people like Dan Manzo, the other guy from Wambua, Kitui, mm. my friend Junior, mm. they are just trying to seek relevance. It happens. You saw Malala was pushing uh, <laughs> David. You know, these things, we know them. Uh. The people who hang on your court tails in order to win some seats, mm. I think it doesn't... But could this be... They a, should leave Kalons alone. Could this be a deal breaker? Because according to him, he says, now it's no Kalonzo. No, Raila. But that is that is cheap because it was not Kalonzo didn't just join Azimio. There's a long process. You can call it a long period of waiting. Mm -hmm. yeah, whichever side you, it means, yeah. the side you are on, mm -hmm. and it could mean there was hard negotiations. Mm. And then he joined publicly mm -hmm. and said he was supporting Raila without any condition. Yeah. Now, if he comes out of the deal, won't he look cheap? So I'm sympathizing with Kalonzo. He should stop listening to these fellows and just remain in this deal the way he's already inside. See, now look here, Kalonzo is on bus and the bus is moving and they are telling Brana, jump out. Ah. Could that happen? Do not alight from a moving bus. Yeah. And the, Manzo is, because Manzo wants to be senator. Or McCraney. Oh. That's why he's trying to gain relevance. And Kalonzo should dismiss them. These are nobodies. Dismiss them. But if, even if you look, listen to Kalonzo, him saying, he's saying, don't worry, it's obvious. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's going to be me. Kalonzo, I have advised. He should put his eyes on 2027. Mm. He will be president of this country. 
but but will he be relevant if he isn't the deputy president within the next no, five no. years? He doesn't need to that be. would be the big question. I have also said as follows. The man or woman who becomes deputy president now, the man who deputizes Raila, mm. the person, man or woman selected as Raila's running mate, mm. you can take to the bank, will not be on the ballot in 2027. Why would you why would you say that? It will be a terminal position. In which in what this way? is a big game. And I, I don't know how many times I'll say mm. this is a big game. Okay. This is a big a big game. Yes. It twenty twenty two is not part of the game. Even twenty two is twenty twenty two is a small thing in this big game. Oh. The eyes future. Mm. And therefore, Raila will be president. Mm. A new person from outside will come and be presidential candidate in 2007, mm. deputized by the prince, <laughs> about which all this game is about. Uh, <laughs> should we say the, who the prince is? We know. Who uh, doesn't everyone know? knows. Everyone knows. Okay. And the prince, uh. this man who ran in 2027, uh. like Raila will go one term. Okay. And in 2032, the real prince will occupy his king. Listen to, listen to what the de <laughs> deputy director of elections in Waipa, Ben, ben Mumani, he put it as if, if they choose someone from central Kenya and not someone from the Ukambani region, yes. it will be a repercussion towards Raila's votes. They will not get the votes they need. Could the, could, does this hold water that Mount Kenya, even if you pick someone from Mount Kenya, Raila will not get the votes that they do need? You know, uh, politics is a difficult game. To understand the politics... Mm. My friend, there's not many people who understand politics. Okay. And this politics is hard politics. Mm. This politics in Kenya will be, written, will be written in books. It will be written by political scientists, uh. political historians, <laughs> political economists. Uh. This is a major game. Okay. You see, there are votes, and I've tried to explain this until I've given up. Okay. I've been interviewed by just about everybody in the media. Including international. I, I had to say International, <laughs> local. And I'm telling them. Yeah. There is what we call hardware in this election. Okay. The hardware are the votes. So Kalonzo brings the hardware, the votes. Mm. But you need the software. Yeah. The software is the goodwill that Uhuru brings. Yeah. He comes with a complete political infrastructure mm. that carries that goodwill. You need it. Mm. Otherwise, Chuma Itakulana. Oh. You need that software from Uhuru Kenyatta. Mm -hmm. The goodwill. Mm. There are many people and many quarters, and it's not as simple as deep state. It is beyond the deep state. So you say it doesn't matter the votes they lose, even if they pick someone from Mount Kenya, because some would say Ukambani will not vote for Raila mm. as much as they would if he picks someone from... from you know, Central. sometimes in politics you gamble. But I have never been convinced, not even for a second, that Uhulu will fail to get votes from Mount Kenya. I've never been convinced. Those who are convinced are, yesterday I was in my club. Mm. While in the club I met a chairman of a political party, which has, against all odds, mm. chosen to support Ruth, William Ruto, oh. apart from the Mount Kenya region. So I told him, my friend, I almost mentioned the name. <laughs> my friend, you told me you are going to support us. What happened? You are joining us in Uda. I said, yes, I'm with you in Uda. Uh. I told him why he gave me good results. Mm -hmm. Then I asked him, between you and I, you are an old man. Will Raila win or Ruto will win? He said, Ruto is winning this thing. Mm. Okay. Are you convinced? And he's a well-placed, intelligent old man. I said, fine. Mm. He's a Kikuyu. As I was walking out of the club, just there are stairs. At the entrance, yeah, I've been or there. exit, I've seen them. You know the club yeah, I'm talking yeah. about. So, I met three Kikuyus. Yeah. One old man, one not so old, and one young man. Uh. And we got talking. And they are as me or dumb. Oh, okay. Then I, I reckon, one against three, it is beginning to pick. Anybody who thinks, anybody who thinks, and I was telling the guy, the mm. on the same TV show with Manzo, mm. if you think Uhuru will not get votes for Raila from the mountain, you are not a politician. You are naive. On the 9th of August, mm. many people will be shocked. The number of Kikuyus who will vote for Raila will shock everybody. Oh. Yeah. So, so this is again how you must read that game. Mm. And for that game to, to unfold the way I'm talking about, mm. 
successfully so, Uhuru must be given some leeway in this game. Oh. Because there are people who need to be comfortable. Mm. They need to be comfortable that this game mm. is okay. We are also part of this country. Because Kikuyus are led by fear. Mm. It's a question of the fear of the unknown when they are not in power. So the question is, between, between Raila and uh, Ruto, well, look at the fear element, the angle. Look at that angle of fear, <laughs> yeah. which drives the Kikuyus. Yes. And this is what Uhuru is working on. So he needs to assure this. Once they are assured and they are comfortable, mm. that there is less to fear with the Raila president mm. than there is to fear with the Ruto president. Mm. But and that's what I was saying in the other video. There's this katikati thing. There was this likelihood mm. of eh, how if we take it ourselves. Oh, okay. That's what I meant. That people are asking me, you are campaigning for. So no, I'm just saying the way I know it. Mm. It may not work that way, because these Kikuyu leaders have not quite grabbed the opportunity. Okay. Uh, maybe they haven't understood it very well the way I understand it. Mm. That fear thing. Mm. So on the balance of probability, yeah. At some point, the Kikuyus are going to feel they are more comfortable mm. with the arrangement that Kenyatta has put in place for them than. Mm. Going for with William Root. Okay. That's that's what. The, so and therefore, even when it comes to numbers, mm. I do not support the view, and subscribe to the view that the Kikuyus will not vote for Raila. Is, is there a possibility that Kalonzo might bounce away from Azimio One Kenya Alliance? Where will he go? Is there a possibility? Where will he go? He would go nowhere. Kalonzo is there. Kalonzo is task, and I'm trying to help him. Ah. Tell off Dan Manzo. This is a junior politician. Just tell him off. So you think he's being pressured towards Yeah, the just position. tell them off. Kinawambua. Just tell them off. Tell him, shut up. We know what we are looking at. Mm. This is a big thing. Kalonzo will be president in 2027 of this country. That you can take to the bank. Let's talk about the nomination. Yes. Before I take <laughs> it to the bank. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Raila Odinga ruled out zoning within uh, Azimio, uh, uh, Azimio One Kenya Alliance yes. ruled out zoning. Is, there, is it practical to have campaigns without zoning? That is their problem. Will it, will it be practical? They are already losing seats and I'm seeing. They are already losing some. Nairobi is going. Kakameka is going. Oh, they are losing them. They don't even need to wait for ninth. It's gone. Oh, it, they are going. Malala will be governor in Kakameka. Nairobi. Sakaja will be governor. It's as simple as that. You cannot have Ngatia running, Tim Onyonyi running, and they're running against UDA. And you hope to beat Sakaj, how can you beat him? Mm. It's a no-brainer. So you're saying... The, how can you have Savula running on DAP in Kakameka, mm. Baraza running on, uh, on, on ODM, mm. and some joker maybe running on Jubilee, <laughs> and still hope uh. you can beat Malala? You can't. He will beat you hands down. Hands down in the morning. Today, ODM, they have... At all you say, Asubui, uh. by 10 o'clock, Malala is a governor. Okay. By, by 9.30, Sakaja is governor of Nairobi. Oh. The, we need to tell Raila, this is a simple, it's a no-brainer. You know, they had their ODM <laughs> leadership thing today. <laughs> and they're saying they will deal with that. Uh, uh, we'll there's only one more day remaining. Later. It's only tomorrow. Yeah. It's only tomorrow. So you think there's no... How, about, how, how injurious will this be for Raila Odinga? Because right now they're campaigning and we're having Jubilee, that ODM. That is their problem. If you cannot face this thing, mm. head on. If you kick the can down, down the road, that's mm. your problem. You would win the presidency, but find yourself un uh, unable to manage the country. Without parliament, you can't go in. I have done my arithmetics. And I think in a show, this yesterday one. Yeah. I have tried to see how UDA can control parliament. I have not seen. But they are handing them. They are just handing it over to them. Oh. Yeah. You are There's no way UDA was going to... To get numbers in the Senate you, or the National Senate. You mentioned the yeah, counties. I even mentioned the counties. Yeah. If you are looking for senators and governors. Go, go watch yesterday's clip. Yes, right? they cannot. Yeah. But they are being handed on a silver platter. Like I said earlier, there is no way Ruto can win this election. But Raila can lose it. Oh. Then somebody headlined that bit. Mm. The bashing I received from those sides. <laughs> that side is terrible. <laughs> but you see, they should learn also to listen to things. Yeah. And the argument somebody is advancing. Mm. Especially intelligent Kenyans. I'm now saying... There is absolutely no way mm. UDA can control parliament, National Assembly, mm. Senate. There is no way they can control counties in terms of governors. Mm. But ODM and the Jubilee, Azimio can hand them that control of parliament, mm. which is just about to happen. If they don't come it's unfolding before our own eyes. 
Let's look at Nairobi, for instance. I've had Polycap Igade is yes. in the mix. Yes. He's coming in. If Jubilee puts their candidate, ODM puts Tim yes. Wanyonyi. Yes. We have uh, Wiper puts, probably puts someone. Yes. Will Raila get get the numbers he needs in Nairobi? Because most people usually vote as, as no. It will interfere again experience. with the numbers. Ah. Because if you made Tim Wanyonyi the candidate for 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 for, for ODM, for ODM, you are sure of all the ODM people will vote for Raila, including the Luyas and the Luos. Okay. And then Uhuru, of course, is bringing his own people on board. Polika, Pungatia, yeah. Now, if you if you distort that by kicking out Tim Wanyonyi mm. and giving Gatia, you must reckon with the fact that lawyers, a good number of lawyers will move to Sakaja. Oh. And as they vote for Sakaja, they could as well vote for Ruto. You, you need to balance. I'm not saying it's any easy. Mm. I'm not saying you have the answers. Mm. No. But I'm just saying it's not something you can wish away. No, you can't wish it away. It, these cracks that headlines are putting, news, newsrooms are putting, cracks in Azimio, can they be dealt with? Ah, all? these are the simple things. Choice, the zoning thing. Even if Raila just called me, I want to come here, I want to give you this thing, do it. And he announces that I've set up a committee headed by Manyora. Mm. Within 12 hours, everything's finished. Quisha. These are simple matters. Uh. You know, when you talk to people intelligently, honestly, mm. and they are made to see the bigger picture, and you listen to them, mm. you know where they are hurting, with, you listen to them with empathy, mm. not sympathy, you, 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 you have a conversation around certain issues, there is nothing that cannot be resolved. Because they also know, nobody will not know if Tim and Ngati run, or if Tim and Ngati run. Mm. All, 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 all concerned will know, even the Simplest person there mm. will know Sakaja will win. It's just a no brainer. So they have to deal with all this. Yeah, so once you put them in a room, you listen to them, understand their frustrations mm. and expectations, hopes and dreams and fears, address all these things, talk in, in a, have a very candid discussion, but firm. Mm. There's no way they will, they will fail. Well, how do you think Ruto is managing to put these people together? Okay. Just listen to them. Just uh, listen. When you talk to people, uh, you, the moment you begin to talk to people is the moment you realize how small the anthills are. The things you thought were mountains, thought were mountains, you discover they were just tiny anthills. Uh, Human beings want to be listened to. That's it. Don't be listened to. Okay. Yeah. Let's find the conversation. And therefore, Aila, yeah. as we conclude, must know his presidency hangs on the balance. In terms of this, this zoning thing, don't play with it. It will affect his numbers, presidential votes. But more critically, it will deny him the smooth running of government. Mm. Because Kenya is entering into a period where parliament is going to be very independent. And if you do not have the numbers in parliament, five years will be wasted before you do anything. And the rail has to avoid that. Okay. Thank you so much for tuning into today's political conversations. A conversation whether the cracks in Azimio One Kenya Alliance can be dealt with. Prof is saying these are just anthills, they're not mountains. It's just an easy conversation.